Um, okay, I am Michelle and I, I play the character Emily Chu, who's kind of the protagonist of My Wedding and Other Secrets. And I was involved, I didn't know actually about the script at all. And, and I was living in New York at the time, um, and, but I had worked with Roseanne before. And my agent said, hey, Roseanne is making a feature film and this is the part that uh, we've managed to get you an audition for. Um, so I had to rearrange my friend's living room and prop, prop things and move furniture. And in this tiny little corner in a New York living room, I shot my audition and then sent it off to New Zealand for Roseanne to watch. Um, and then ended up uh, booking the part. And yeah, and so Emily Chu is kind of the girl who is identifying with um, the fact that she's a New Zealander and she falls in love with a New Zealand white boy. But then she's also feeling the pressure from her uh, very traditional Chinese parents and she wants to be a good daughter too. So it's, it's kind of the story is about her finding her way to navigate through these issues and, and retain the love that she has for her family and for her boyfriend. Yeah, so I, um, I'm Australian, I'm not New Zealand, New Zealander, even though I, I think I do play New Zealand in the film, I think I get away with it. There was only a couple of notes where Roseanne came up to me and said, you sound too Australian and can you do this with your, with your E, <laughs> your E vowel. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm Australian and uh, I, I came on board in a kind of str strange roundabout way. I, I, um, they were looking for, at the time, uh, the producers and Roseanne were looking for the parents um, which were ultimately played by Chung Pei Pei, or Pei Pei Chung, if you want to westernise it, um, and um, Kenneth Tseng, or Tseng Kenneth, no, it doesn't work, um, anyway. <laughs> um, there's a Chinese joke for you. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so which were ultimately played by those uh, magnificent actors, um, but at the time, they were, I think they were maybe in negotiation with them, and they weren't sure whether they were going to lock them down, um, so they were exploring the whole, the whole rest of the world um, to try and find... Uh, Actors, uh, Hang on, you were going to play Kenneth's role? You I was going to be the really father? Really? Potentially, I, I, no I can age really well if they, if they get the, uh, the right <laughs> silver hair. You look that old? Are you serious? Yeah, I don't know the no, story. No, I was that versatile, crazy. did you? Yeah, no, wow. um, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to get there. Okay, okay, good, good. So, uh, so they're looking for the parents and they looked in Australia. And I, live, I come from Melbourne. Uh, they, they consulted a casting director in, in Melbourne about whether there'd be any Chinese actors there who could play the roles. Uh, uh, my agent is, is one of the... Um, they're, they're well known in the, in the Australian industry in Melbourne for providing um, actors of ethnicity. And uh, uh, so my agent got the brief for the parents and she submitted some people. Um, and in, in the meantime, she saw some of the other roles. Uh, and one of the roles was the role which I ultimately played, the role of the brother-in-law, your character's brother-in-law. Um, well, he gets married in the, in the course of the film, he's fiancé and then brother-in-law. They were really nice enough to just let me put down a test, um, and uh, I think Roseanne thought that I was right for the role. And um, You were so right for the role, I can't imagine anyone else playing it. That's really nice. Thank yeah. You. You've got yeah. A, the nice guy vibe. Yeah, you, you totally <laughs> did that for me, it's so like... like Really sickening, sickening. It's so fucking perfect. It's like you want to go like. Right, right, yeah. Well, well I mean, the, the guy that he's based on, because yeah, I mean, they're all based on real characters, and, and apparently, uh, Brad, um, who's Roseanne's brother-in-law, he he's he is um, like, kind of perfect, perfect in, in a in a really like he's he's a semi genius or a genius and. Uh, what? Uh, whoa, whoa! Uh, whoa. Hang on, we didn't. Yeah. Say that. No, no, we didn't. We yeah, didn't yeah. just like when played a genius. So, so, so uh, that wasn't was... involved in my. That wasn't really part of my character's uh, breakdown. But, <laughs> no, no, but um, kidding, yeah, the, the kind of perfection went towards more nice guy, I think, rather than intellectual. Uh, yeah, excellence. Uh, my name's Mike. Uh, I play uh, Vincent Wong in the film. Um, he's He's like the, he plays in like the contrast to uh, Emily's uh, love interest. So um, Emily's love interest was, you know, uh, a white guy and he's kind of nerdy and stuff and kind of awkward at times. And so uh, my my character was described in the film by Emily as a jock lawyer. And so that kind of like the perfect, perfect Chinese boyfriend <laughs> that. <laughs> um, so that was his character. Um, and perfect so. Asian guy. Well, you Asian, said it. Well. The, and the, the, the perf not just the perfect Asian guy, the perfect Asian guy in the minds of her parents. Exactly, right? and that and that's yes. what it was. Um, 
And so uh, I, I, I came on board, uh, I just auditioned. Um, I, knew, I knew Roseanne, Roseanne Liang earlier, and um, so she knew of me, and she just kind of thought the part could be right for me and then had me audition for it. And like, Yeah. It is. I think the, is. the weird thing about it is, and I've, I've spoken to you about this, Scott, is that because it's a very Asian-centric cast, people just assume it's only relevant to that particular kind of cultural asset. But it's not. Because I've had, I, I took it to a National Geographic Festival in Washington, mm. Washington D.C. two months ago, mm. and I had an Ethiopian woman come up to me, and she was like, this is my story. I've mm. married this white American guy. This is my story. And wow. then there was a, a guy who was like, this is my story. I'm Muslim, and, and my wife isn't, and this is... Like this is what right. we had to go through, so it's it's kind of it's exciting that it can reach like reach out to so many different kinds of people and ethnicities. It got recognised really well in domestically in New Zealand. I mm -hmm. think it was the biggest grossing New Zealand film uh, in two thousand and eleven, and it got nominated for awards for writing and directing and acting. Yeah. Well, yeah. Also, yeah. and just as an update of yeah. Roseanne, because you know the film's based on um, on her yeah. real life story. It's some, sometimes people enjoy hearing updates of you know her and and the character of Emily Lee. So she's just had her second baby. Yeah. Yeah.